Hi, Jen and Casey here. We're with another Fusion Online video. We're um, talking about the teacher-client conversation and call and response queuing. Now, what we mean by this is that we want to go away from just the kind of um, regurgitation of cues, that you're just saying things because they're in your manual, or you know that this is the um, choreography and you're cueing the choreography but you're not really looking at the client and seeing what they're doing. So what we're looking for is any kind of alignment cues or quality of movement cues or breath cues that you are seeing in your individual client that they need. And then what you're looking for, right? See if your client's listening, paying attention, is that you see a change in the body, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can go on to another layer, another detail. All right, so today we're looking at leg springs on the caddy. So we're going to just do um, one-legged leg spring for right now. So she's putting the um, strap on, and we have a heavy purple spring on our lowest hook here. So we have Casey back, you know, all, pretty much all the way to the back, and we have the lowest spring. So for the purple spring right now, this is kind of our lowest setting. So I'm just going to have her go up and down and see what happens in the body. And I'm going to look at her from the side. And I'm also going to go to the back and look at her. Good. Now, the tendency, of course, with this heavy leg spring is that we're going to see all the weight in this right side of the body, which is happening. So I want to bring her attention to the left side of her body the left shoulder blade, left rib cage, left back of the hip. And then I want her to preload the spring just a little bit. Good, and that's gonna help her just a little bit more organize into this left side of the body. And she could even press into the mat or even hold onto the sides of the mat to try to find this. All right, so on the inhale, just go a bit down. And then on the exhale, very, very good. So that left side of the pelvis rib cage looks great. Deep inhale. And long, deep exhale. Good. Now I'm going to take this off for a moment. The other thing that I'm seeing, right, is that it's hard with the leg spring for her to keep her neutral curve here. So I'm going to give her a little bit of help right at the top of the pelvis, a little bit of a towel that reminds her to keep her lumbar curve. Helps to keep the shape in that part of the spine. Good. So again, I want her to start the same way, to press into the spring and find that left side of the body, wide sitting bone, left inner thigh dripping down, finding that inner left foot, because she wants to really rely on that foot left foot, left leg to help her with stability. And on the inhale, slowly down. Now, as your femur comes up, right, I want you to think about rotating the pelvis in the opposite direction. Keep reaching the foot into the strap. Very nice. Inhale. And exhale. Good, and I'm placing my hand under this back side of her left rib cage, and I want her left rib cage to fall into my hand. Deep inhale. Good, and on the exhale, rotate the pelvis for, oh, there you go, good. And just last one. Let the left rib cage fall into my hand. The femur comes up and the pelvis rotates in the opposite direction. All right, very mm -hmm. good, nice. So that's an example, right, of really watching your clients and seeing the individual cues that they need for that day. And mm -hmm. it's not the same cues that you gave them yesterday, <laughs> right, because the body really changes. All right, thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you again soon, bye.